Hello everybody and welcome to Curse of the Dead Gods. This is going to be a little mini-series I'm playing on my channel. It's going to take over Undermine just for a few weeks, maybe just a few episodes depending on how it goes. It's just recently come out on Steam in Early Access and I've been playing it for a little bit, a few hours now, and I've been really, really enjoying it. It's got some really unique systems in there and it's a really cool little roguelike. Now, it doesn't have the most content ever. It is definitely still in Early Access, uh, but for what it has, it's very enjoyable and we're going to see what we can get done in it. So let's enter the Lost Temple and see what this game is about. Now, I have had a little play around for about two hours just to get used to the controls and understand how the game works, and it's 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 brilliant. It's got some really fun combat. It's kind of like Hades, Darkest Dungeon, Diablo, all mixed into one, and they've done a really good job. I mean, the art style itself is very impressive, and the gameplay and the, the curse and darkness and light mechanics are really interesting, but I'll let you play out this cutscene, and you'll get to understand how this game works, and what exactly we're getting ourselves into here and i'm sure you guys have seen people like northern lion and mr fruit play this recently and even huts as well so but yes i'll leave it as it is and oh no we're getting locked inside the temple there you go we're in. So, we can pull out a torch. We've got a few different things we can do. Got a dodge roll. Got a little stamina bar here that refills after doing certain actions and using certain actions. Got a pistol so that we can try and power charge up to do perfect shots. Again, this does use stamina. And then we've got our sword to do basic swipes. And a power attack also uses stamina. stamina, stamina. Then we can light these braziers here to light up the area, then put away our sword. And lighting up the area is going to reveal enemies and also actually weaken the enemies a little bit, meaning they don't deal as much damage to you. If you're fighting enemies in the darkness, they are going to deal a lot more damage. I think it's 50% more. Here we are. Into the temple. So, in this, we're basically fighting through a Mayan temple uh, and trying to survive, but as you can see, it is cursed. And there's many, many curses throughout this dungeon that we have to deal with. So we can first of all choose where we want to go here. I'm going to choose the gold here. I think gold is going to be very useful for us. Uh, it's Basically, that's kind of like the Slay the Spire style map where you can choose the path that you go down and choose which way you go, which I really like the idea of. Um, and as you saw there, when we went through that door, we gained some some stat there. We gained some corruption. Corruption is actually what is... So it's kind of like a currency in the game that you gain for getting hit by certain attacks. You can see it in the bottom right corner there. We gained 20. Every time you go through a door, you gain another 20. Certain enemies' attacks also give you curse. Or you can trade... Um, instead of trading gold for items, you can trade curse for items to get curse. And then every Every time you reach 100, you gain a curse. Every time you beat a boss, you remove a curse. And I think it's a really cool little system there. I try to do these little uh, thingies that... Um... There you go. I'm going to finish off these little tutorials it's given me in the top left there. There you go, they're done. Something really cool we can do here that I figured out really early on. So first of all, let's light our brazier here. Um, this enemy is going to be dealing... This is definitely going to be dealing curse damage to us, so we want to be getting out of the way of that. And we want to be dodge rolling there. We can even perfect dodge. Ooh, 30% damage to poison attacks. That's a relic there. Um, we can even uh, do perfect dodges so it doesn't consume any stamina. But if we hit, hit, and then do that, we can chain our attacks into a pistol shot. And that's really powerful. And there you go. First few enemies done. And we've got different paths we can take as well here. Um, let's have a little look. So, so we've got some gold over here. Uh, you can actually see there's a trap there. If this wasn't lit, you, can, you can't see traps. You can only see traps that are lit up by your light as we look here. Them traps aren't there. And then they are. I think that's a really cool little mechanic there. Let's head in here. We've got a bomb right there. Got another bomb here. Let these guys get a bit close to us. Round them up a little bit. Boom. Easy. And we can also open this up. We can actually light enemies on fire as well to briefly light up the area. But enemies that work with darkness, like that enemy there, can actually put themselves out. As you can see, we opened up a little secret room here. And he went down in one combo. Very nice. And we've got quite a lot of gold so far here. But as you can see, this, this game's got a lot of style to it. A lot of style indeed. It's got some really interesting mechanics. I really, really do enjoy it a lot. I, I'm really hoping they add more relics. Ooh, we got a first bit of damage there. I'm really hoping they add more relics and curses and more runes, things like that, to the game coming shortly. Got him. So that, like, chain-up attack that I was doing then is going to be useful for uh, mainly getting big groups of enemies. Get this guy off. And get you. There we go. 
Do we have any other areas to go here? No, it doesn't like it. Let's make sure we always have this out. We've got a few little bits of gold around here. Oh, some Jaguar statues here. Ah, oh, damn it. I got set on fire. I'm going to take a little bit of damage from that there. Damn. There we go. Got that, and now we're going through into our next floor. We just got gold from this room, so there's nothing else to find. And we can go for a relic, or we can go for more gold. Um, I think I want to go for a relic, because we might be able to get a nice one here and trade some cares for maybe, or even get enough money to buy one. And then also after that, we could try and buy a weapon, which is always really nice. I really, really like the weapons in this game. There's some really interesting ones out there. So I'm going to light this guy on fire, just because we've not got any other fire in this area. Get these guys something fire. Look at that. Damn it. Taking some stupid damage here, but don't worry about it. It's not terrible that we're taking this damage. It's not the worst ever. Making sure there's no gold in the corners. We do have some spikes here, so let's make our way over those. A lot of gold back here. Give me all that gold. Always want to make sure we got this out and ready. And these paths here, we can jump over, but it basically means you can't get back. It's like a one-time use thing. So when when we get into areas like this... Oh my god, that was bad. I always want to light all the braziers as soon as possible. Yeah, do not want to get caught by that. Got another relic there, very nice. Get rid of these guys and you. Oh, damn it, I didn't quite get it. What have we got here? Heal for 2% of maximum HP when enemy is killed by the environment. So, basically that means if we find an area that's got like spikes or something like that, we can push enemies into it and get a bit of healing out of it, which is really nice. And as you saw there, we just picked up what is in the game, I think, called a crystal skull. You can see that in the bottom left there, uh, bottom right, sorry, next to our money. And we can use those to do permanent upgrades to our character later on. It's kind of like the meta currency of this game. But here we go, we've got our relics here. We've got um, regen... 15% uh, max HP when passing through a door. 200% um, greed timer. So when, when you kill an enemy, you get a greed kill. Um, and every kill after that gives you more and more greed kills. That basically just means you get more timer on top of that. And it also comes with constitution. You can see all of these come with constitution, actually. That's actually max HP. So... I'm actually going to leave all of those, even though some of those are interesting and we could definitely use it. I don't want to take too much care straight away here. And here we could actually get some healing for some care. But what I'm going to do instead is go for gold again and then go into a weapon and try and get a really nice weapon. Because weapons are a big deal in this game. Actually, we haven't actually had one drop yet, but we, st we should start getting some dropping soon. Mainly we just got relics. But that's kind of why I'm not that bothered about buying a relic. Because we've already actually picked some up. Got to make sure there's a lot of stamina reset here. Especially before we go into there. Let's go this way. Take our way around here. But yet again, we can actually lead these into this fire over here, into this bomb. And kill the vast majority there. Oh no, I took a lot of damage and some chaos damage there, but we did find a weapon. Finishes cost no stamina. Very nice indeed, and I believe that does a little bit more damage. Oh no, it does the same damage, but... We don't have to pay stamina anymore. And we just found an even better weapon, which is more damage. It's going to be a bit slower, though, I do believe. And 2% base damage per level of relics carried. Um, that's going to be a bit more damage, so we'll take that instead. It's going to be slightly slower, but I do like the maces a little more. Even though we did just get a weapon, but we got two, so... And you may think this is going to make buying weapons a little a little less useful, but it's not because we can buy different styles of weapons. Like we can buy a new pistol, we can buy a bow, we can buy a two-hander. There's various different weapons that you can get. Oh, I love doing that. It stuns them as well. And get you. Nice. Get some greed kills there. We actually got a chest here as well. And we got another weapon. Deal critical damage against enemies under 50% HP. I love the claws. I'm going to take the claws. They're really, really fast. As you can see, they're really, really fast. And for me, that's great. I really like speed. So now we can go for a weapon. Because we've got 1,500 gold. That should be enough to get ourselves a weapon. And as you can see, we're getting closer and closer to that curse meter. We're only 20... Uh, sorry, well, we technically we can go through one door. We'll get some curse. But we're, we're actually... Um, 
I think we can light them on. No, we can't. Um, well, there's a brazier there. I'll get that brazier. Get that guy. Um, yeah, we're actually only getting hit by one of these things. We'll drive us over to our next curse. Oh, damn. I did not mean to get hit by that. Right, come over here, you guys. I got you. Oh, no. I didn't mean to get hit by that. God damn it. But doing crits to enemies under 50% HP basically gives us double damage at half HP for enemies, which is really nice. We didn't definitely want to make sure we're on top of our stamina. We, we're, um, we've not got a lot of stamina to play with here, and we've got to make sure that whenever we're doing finishers, that we're keeping an eye. Because that could really screw us over in the future. You see that little combo there? And to kill that enemy as an extra. And got you as well. Very nice. And there we go. We can start to have a look at buying a weapon now. And the Titan Slayer is my favorite weapon type. So, we've got ourselves a ceremonial dagger here, which does, does a lot more damage, actually, than our um, that, than our pistol, which I don't tend to use a lot, by the way. Um, and then it gives a 20% chance to inflict fire damage. We've got um, a warm macrona, which, is our, which would replace our main sword, which I don't really want to do. Which, that's going to inflict a lot more damage against poison targets. Or we've got this thing, which deals critical damage against elites, champions, and bosses. 30% damage against burning targets. and attack from behind, do extra damage. And we get extra damage based on our dexterity. So I'm going to offer gold for that. And as you can see, it does 48 damage. The only thing with two-handers is, two-handers always consume stamina on a hit. Always. So they're a little bit harder to use, but I really, really like them. And as you see going through this door, we're going to gain our first curse here. So let's go for stats. We're not really going to be able to get much here, simply because we don't have a lot of money. We could take some curse for some stats if we really wanted to. Blinding Greed. Gold on the ground disappears after a short time. The amount of gold is increased. As you can see there, that curse actually does have a benefit to it. A lot of the curses have a negative and a positive, which is something that I really like the idea of. Let's go this way first. Let's light this brazier. So this is a healer here, a new enemy type. But as you can see here, we're doing a lot of damage with this thing. As long as we keep our stamina... Let's keep our stamina looked at and make sure we're not overusing it or anything like that. But another great thing about these is these can open secret rooms on their own. Ah, you see, I fucked up my stamina there. I ended up messing that up a little bit. We can go with this. Um, this is exactly the same, but we get remove one corruption, which is the little thing, the affliction thing on the bottom right. Um, we get to remove uh, corruption on killing enemies, which is really nice. Let's keep going this way. As you can see here, the gold does not have a lot of time on it. And oh my god, got hit again there. Getting hit a lot right now. Isn't great. Yep, not great. But these swords interrupt enemies' attacks, so they can be used quite easily to kill a lot of enemies, as you can see there. Sadly, unfortunately, we couldn't even get anything from that. So we can get 10% extra damage, extra gold find. Let's just go with the extra damage. We'll offer some gold for that. Very nice. And we can head through here, and we're going to head to the Haven. Haven is one of the only ways to get healing in the game. There are certain things that give you healing in terms of, like, item stats, but and a few relics, but mainly this is the only way to get healing. You got to offer some corruption, you get 10 corruption for 200 healing. I normally just do it twice and then move on. There you go. And we got gold here again, which should probably be nice. Get another relic. There is a limited amount of relics we can carry, but that's not going to play too much into this run, I don't think. Let's get that. A little bit extra gold. As you can see, you're getting 10% extra, which isn't exactly tons, but it's a nice bit of additional, additional stuff for us. Let's try and use these... Oh, I didn't get that gold. Now this is where these things come into their own. I'm going to get hit by this thing. Oh, that was close. That was close. Boom. Boom. Oh, I just love this sword so much. It's so fun. And as you can see, we can break through walls just like that. Simple as. We've got a chest here as well. We've got ourselves a bow. 
So this will actually replace our um, our beautiful, beautiful Titan Slayer, so I'm not going to take that. Unfortunately, at least for right now, uh, there is no way to trade out things on the floor. There's no way to, like, sell them or anything like that, which I'm honestly perfectly fine with. Uh, there doesn't have to always be a system like that. We definitely want to get that gold as soon as possible. Um, there doesn't always have to be a system like that, but it is nice when they do exist. Be careful here. So let's use these little fire things to do some extra damage. See, we got a bit. We got 20 healing there because that enemy died to that uh, that little jaguar fire statue. Very nice. And this healer is spawning a lot of enemies. So we definitely want to deal with him. We actually got a dagger from him as well. Oh, that was close. And let's have a look what that does. Uh, unfortunately, actually, we can trade that. Uh, evading an attack with an offhand combo fully restores stamina. So if we do... We can go stab, stab, Y. Stab, stab, Y. And do a little bit of extra of that. And we'll get a, a combo for doing that. So unfortunately, there's nothing really else here that we can do. Oh well, though. Either way, I'll keep moving. I probably won't end up using the dagger too much. The Titan Slayer is, like, one of my favorite weapons, so I'll end up using that for the majority of this. Anyways, let's go through. We want to be going for Relic. I think Relics are far more important than stats, for the most part. The stats aren't that useful. Ma mainly, it's, like, max HP and 10% damage are the, the two good ones. Mortal Harvest. Urns no longer contain gold, but are filled with blood. Blood heals, but inflicts corruption. So, that is a benefit, because we get a bit of healing. But if we do destroy him, we get one corruption, I believe it is. So, it can be a negative as well. Okay, so this is actually a really good room for taking out some of these enemies with traps. Right, let's try and get this guy with the trap here. Good, good, good. A little bit of extra damage from doing that tra uh, extra healing. Sorry for doing that trap bit there. And get rid of some corruption by killing these guys. With this. Lovely. And gold offerings remove five corruption. Not exactly the best. Basically means whenever we purchase something, we remove a little bit of corruption, which is nice, I suppose. Unfortunately, most of this gold is gone now. Oh, damn it. I didn't have my, I didn't have my torch out. Never enter a room without your torch out. You're going to get getting yourself hit like I just did there. You want to be able to see what's coming ahead. Oh, just look at it. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. It is my favorite thing. There you go. He's gone. Oh, the spikes there. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? And there you go. A little bit of healing for pushing her into the spikes there. Oh, no. Damn! Ah, oh, that's such a shame. I double clicked by accident and I accidentally bought the first thing available and it was not even that good. It gave us extra max HP, which is nice, but it gave us 10% base damage for pistols and we're not even using a pistol anymore. That was a big waste. Either way, we're on to our champion, which, if you remember, the Titan Slayer deals critical damage to champions. So. We're going to have a fun time killing this guy. What up, dude? So he spawns these little dogs, which can be annoying. Oh, I did hit us with this little spike here, though. But, oh my god, he got me again. And again. Oh, this is bad. Well, as you can see, look at the damage we're dealing right now. Look at the damage we're dealing. He's going to spawn another dog. I tend to just like to kill the dog as soon as possible, like that. I'm going to try to get out of the way of this this time. There you go. <laughs> that was really bad that I got hit by like four of those in a row. Get rid of the dogs straight away. you got to stay on top of those dogs. Make sure to get rid of them as soon as possible. And there you go. First boss. Done and blasted. Believe me, this game is not as easy as I just made it look. The Titan Slayer is brilliant for one. That makes it a bit easier, but my god, yeah, it's not normally that easy. I think we can go a little further, you know. Oh, no, we can't. You have to just end it here. So this is our first journey complete, our first quest complete. But after that, we can keep going further and further into new bosses. There you go. 16 minutes, and we managed to beat the final boss of that area. 
And I, I really enjoy the first floor. The first floor is really good. The boss is pretty unique and interesting. Although, you can be a little easy with certain items. And now, as you can see, we have our blessings and our divine favors and different things we can unlock. And we have 19 of these. So, one of the ones that I really like to go with is whilst you're attacking, you take 50% uh, less damage and you cannot be interrupted, which is really nice. Another one that's really nice is gain a 1,000 to start all your runs with. Um, and there's a few others that are really good as well. Uh, so let's go with that one to start with because that one's really good. We're going to equip that and as soon as we get a little bit more We can go for the uh, extra hundred when starting a run. So let's go through Over to another run and we'll just try one more We probably end up not doing quite as well on this one and see how far we can get so because we're not starting with any gold I always like to go for gold first um, Gold is of course incredibly useful um, and basically my goal is to try to get to a um, to get to buying a weapon as quick as possible. Right, let's do some of these, um... Let's do some of these little quest things we've got on the top there, look. We can actually do a charge up and, and slice like that. Um, range weapons can trigger powerful shots, so let's do three perfects. There you go. And then we can go... Let's wait for our stamina to come back. There we go. Got all those done. Let's get this out and make sure we don't take any stupid damage. This is going to trigger a lot of explosions, so let's get the hell out of there. Oh, damn it, that locked us in. You're cheeky. I didn't realize that was going to lock us in. So we should be able to one-bow combo each enemy pretty quickly here. Like, one full combo takes out an enemy. And we actually got a new pistol right off the bat here, which is lovely. Uh, perfect shots. Fire perfect shots. So basically, when we do a perfect shot, we'll set an enemy on fire, which is really nice. And what we got here, we got ourselves... Blazing shield, fire attack. So it looks like we're going for a little bit of a fire build here, and I will take the shield instead of the pistol. I prefer almost anything to the pistol. I think the pistol feels a little slower to use, in my opinion. So let's light that up. But hey, as you can see, doing great job for us here. Charge it up. That. Oh, got him with the spikes. Oh, yes. As you can see, as he passed a fireball over that, the little corruption ball he fires, it does put out the fire because it's full of darkness. I really like that little feature. We get ourselves this. 200% greed kill time limit is beautiful. Basically, that means comboing kills together is going to be a lot easier, and stacking our money up is going to be easier as well, which is really nice. So let's keep going. Using the blazing shield is going to be very fun for us here. And we're going to an unknown, which can be a lot of different things. There's one of them I really like that's got like this big money bucket, and you've got to kill as many enemies as you can as quickly as you can. Um, that's not obviously not one that shows up every time, but it is one of them that can show up. We did end up lighting that brazier. Wait, can we light it with this? Oh, we can. Nice. I did not know we could do that. Oh, this shield is so good. I really like this. Okay, if we do a charge up attack as well, it cancels air attack. Ooh, I'm liking this a lot. It does use a lot of stamina, granted. I mean, another thing we can do as well, which I haven't even mentioned, is we can parry attacks. We can we can do some parrying, but I really don't tend to parry that often at all. Oh, I'm loving this. I am loving this. Oh, damn it, I got hit by a corruption ball. Oh, ha, ha. damn it. We didn't quite keep the greed thing going there, but we did it pretty good. We did pretty good, and we actually get a weapon here as well. So we get a Titan Slayer again right off the bat. Um, we could go with a Barb Javelin. Um, we could go with the sit deals critical damage while stamina is depleted. Um, that's pretty good. 30% um, damage while in the darkness. So I'm actually going to save my money up and not buy any of those because I want to try and get something a little different in the first row and not go with a Titan Slayer every single time, even though it's one of my favorite things to use. And I'm going to go for... Yeah, let's go for Relic here. And then we can go for the Haven and get some healing if we need it, which we don't particularly need too much healing right now, but it's good to know and good to have available. 
So let's get that going. Boom. Oh, damn it. That was, that was bad. I fucked that up. Okay, we've got to manage our stamina better. My stamina management is not good. Come on, you guys. Come on, now. Oh, ho, ho. just dodged that. And there you go. Got another hit on him. 10% base damage for shields. That's beautiful. We're using a shield quite a lot right now. We've actually got one of these we can light up here. And go a little secret way and get a little bit extra gold. Which is always nice. Light me some extra gold. Oh, damn it. I was out of stamina. you got to make sure when you go through those areas you've got enough stamina to, to play it. I always mess up when I'm doing that. Right. So let's light that up. Then boom into him. So what we can do here as well is actually... Oh, I didn't mean to do that right. Let's see if we can get these guys gathered up a little bit. There you go. Push them right into the spikes. Come on over here. Over here. Boom. <laughs> Easy. We get extra skulls and everything. And then we get our relic here. We've got only one relic we can buy, which is a shame. Each greed kill removes two corruption. Now, that's good, but we have to take 70 corruption for it. So, I'm not going to bother with any of them either. And we're going to go for more gold. I was going to go for the, ha the haven, but we don't need it. We're actually doing pretty well for health right now. But we do get our first curse here. And we got temples by... I believe this is all jaguar statues fire. Nope, this is spike traps now automatically. I hate this one so much. Instead of spike traps triggering when you walk over them, they now all trigger automatically. Um, and you've got to, like, time it right. I, I, I'm not good at timing things, so... Really not very good for me at all. Ooh, damn, that was bad for me. Oh, I'm loving this wombo combo we've got going on right now. 50% damage to poison targets. Sadly, we don't have any poison abilities. That's not going to be that useful for us for right now. But it's nice to know it exists. Let's light this brazier. We've just got two of these guys left now. Love, love, love cancelling these guys out of their attack. And boom. We get a little bit of extra gold from this and another relic. Another 200% greed timer. I, if they stack, that's insane. We can probably keep it going between rooms with, in that case. And heal 2% on the kill by the environment. As you can see, we're seeing a few repeats in items and things like that. That is something that this game needs to improve on, definitely. I've noticed that you get quite a lot of repeats in terms of items. There's not tons in the game yet. But we got to remember, this is a very early access game. It's not got tons of content in it yet. Um, and I'm sure it'll ha have more to come as the game progresses. That's kind of a good thing to do. I oh my god, I got double hit there. That was really bad. I that was really bad. Nice. A little bit of extra gold. Got it. Yeah, that was a bad bit of damage there. We definitely need to get some healing as soon as possible. So I'm going to go for this guy straight away. I wonder if I can charge through that door there. No, I cannot. You have to have a bigger weapon to do that. Good. Gotcha. Ah, I'm loving this combo. I just need some healing is all. Right. Get that going. I always like to try and light the braces before I get into combat here. Really? I thought I'd dodge that. Okay, so let's try and push all of these into the... Yeah, there we go. Trying to push them in to get a bit of extra healing, so we're getting 2% healing. Which isn't a lot, but it's definitely helpful. Damage against weakened targets. Extra 20 HP is, like, very nice, actually. And we can do that pretty reliably in a lot of different rooms. Ow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hmm. That was a bad idea. 
a very bad idea. We just lost like 200 HP for a tiny bit of gold that we didn't really need. Not the most bestest of uses of my uh, my resources there, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, I hate room, hate room. Oh, I got there. I always forget about that. Right, let's let's get rid of some of these guys. Get the gold first. Oh, I'm setting this off on fire there. That's not good. Come here, you. You got him. Boom. Nice. Taking out rooms pretty damn quickly now. Look at that greed timer. It's so long. Oh, we got a Titan Slayer anyways. We got given one. The game just wants me to have it. Ah, I was like, excuse me, how did those traps get me? Then I remembered. The way that they set off is not normal. I really hate that curse so much. Right, let's try and let these get killed by traps. Oh, I love this charge attack. It's so good. And we actually got this. Um, let's try that out instead, shall we? Something new. And we can go for a relic here if we want. Um, perfect dodge restores one stamina. 5% heal. If 5% um, of critical damage almost also heals you. Yeah, let's go for the let's go for the heal on crit. That sounds really good. I can't remember if that's a crit. If our charge up is a crit, then that's pretty good. Oh wait, we lost a we lost a relic there. Make sure we're not losing a good one. Let's get rid of that. There you go. And through we go. Go for weapon, shall we? See if we can get a weapon as well. Could get something nice and tasty. Oh, nice bit of healing there. Damn it. Wasn't close enough. He is there. So, is there a way to get guaranteed crits with the spear? There is. Little bit of extra healing there. Not exactly tons. Ow. Get on there, you. Got him. And I think I can push these two over. Oh, no, I just killed them. Never mind. Oh, no, I got hit by the spike myself, though. That wasn't the intention. Okay, this guy. Okay, we did get him. <laughs> I was like, I don't even be hit by spikes. He can. He can. We can get ourselves um, a jeweled hammer. Provides passive illumination. And it deals double the damage we have right now. Um... We can get ourselves a better one of those. Or we can get ourselves restore 1% of max HP for each enemy killed. Let's go for that, shall we? I've not used a Jaguar bow before, but that sounds pretty good. Let's try it out. I'm assuming we still need to try and perfect shot it. Yeah, by the looks of things. But getting an extra 1% healing on kill could be very, very good for us. But I think we probably want to use our shield tactic for a lot of this. I mean... The bird doesn't seem to do tons of extra damage. Yeah, it doesn't do that much extra damage. Oh, wait, is that fire attack as well? Yeah, we've got two fire attack things now. I'm liking that. Oh, balls. I always forget about that. Wait, he can spawn more than two tigers? I didn't know this. Oh my god, there's so many tigers. Fuck off with all the tigers, man.
Oh my god. We do not have as strong of a build as last time. That's for damn sure. It's, I mean, it's nice, but it's not that strong. Away with your beastly beasts. It just keeps spawning tigers. We get it. I'm on 27 health. I'm only getting two healing per crit. Are you kidding me? I thought I was getting way more than that. Ignore the tigers now. The tigers, the tigers don't mean anything. Focus on attacking him. Oh, get out of the way, tigers. There's too many of you. No! No! We had something going towards the end there. Okay, I'm not very good with the bow. That's apparent. <laughs> that is apparent. But either way, I hope you guys have liked this introduction to Curse of the Dead Gods. Like I said, this probably isn't going to be a super long series on my channel. Probably going to get another maybe three or four episodes. We'll see. Um, we'll definitely be buying that as well. And putting that on for the next one. But yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And I will see you guys in the next one.